It's a very strange thing to see 20 years of your practice displayed out. Works from the 90s and then works from a couple months ago in the same space. I got a chance to experience that in the Perez Museum and then at the Barnes Foundation and then now at the ICA in Boston. My name is Nary Ward. I'm a visual artist. I do large-scale installation art and sculpture. I was born in Jamaica, in uh, Kingston, Jamaica. And in the 70s, I came up to New York City. My work starts at a very personal space. Like, these are things that keep me up at night. Social injustice, violence, the numbing oppression of power. It's like, how do I give them form. And then I would find something or see something on, on the street that says, there's a story here. Iron Heavens. This piece started out about how to express violence or aggression. At that time, in my neighborhood, in certain bodegas, they would always have a baseball bat. And it made me start to think about the bat as an element of aggression. I wanted to do something with these bats. I needed to transform them. So I would put them in this big barrel, sort of cook them, and then take them out before they'd all uh, burn apart. The idea was once they were scorched, they had to be redressed. This element of regeneration. So these bats that were scorched were then embellished with cotton. And for me, the cotton was a material for healing, but it needed something else. What triggered it was a memory of astronomy class where the teacher was talking about the night sky. He says, by the time the light has gotten to us, those stars no longer exist. And there's this element of loss. Once I started building the night sky of oven pans in my studio, it just made sense that the oven pans and the baseball bats have some kind of dialogue. Iron Heavens probably has close to 300, maybe 400 oven pans. And that happens in a lot of my practice. It's like you go on this mission of finding specific things over and over again. I want to pull the viewer in, make them curious, make them want to look, make them want to think. Sunsplashed was done in 2013 when I was at the American Academy in Rome. The sense of feeling displaced made me want to talk about this identity of being a, a Jamaican. And it was really talking about this idea of not belonging to any one place. You know, when I'm traveling, I become a Jamaican artist, which is really strange. When I'm here, everybody's just an artist. If you choose to highlight your ethnicity, then that's on you. Maybe it's another segue into history, right? And, like, and what aspect of our history do we care to focus on and what aspect we care to just normalize. There are things that you can claim for yourself and empower yourself to say, yeah, that's just as important as where I was born. That idea that you can claim your own history is really important. We're all coming from somewhere, you know, and sometimes it's, it's necessary to be lost so that you can kind of figure out things for yourself. And I feel like that's what art should be about.